So we're going to use trigonometry to find the missing side lengths of right angle triangles using something called Sokotoa. This is a really good thing to remember because it helps you know the identities and apply them. So what is Sokotoa? So let's have a look at the first bit. S stands for sine and the abbreviation for that is S-I-N and we have to have the symbol for the angle. Now that has to match the symbol in your triangle or if you're doing it yourself it doesn't really matter what you use. Theta is quite a common one. Then the O and the H is opposite and hypotenuse. Let's now look at the ka. So the C stands for cosine and the abbreviation for this is cos. Again, put the symbol in and that equals A over H which is the adjacent over the hypotenuse. And lastly we have toa. Hopefully you can see the pattern by now. T stands for tangent and the abbreviation of that is tan and a symbol so we might use a different one, we use alpha and that equals O over A which is opposite over adjacent. But how do you use these three identities? Let's have a look. Firstly you need a right angle triangle which we have because we have 90 degrees in the corner. The hypotenuse or H is always opposite the 90 degrees or it's the longest side length, whichever way you want to remember that. The adjacent and the opposite depend on which angle you are using or which angle you're trying to find. For example, if I'm using this one here, the opposite is going to be over here because it has to be opposite the angle and the adjacent is what is left and it's always in between the right angle here and the angle I'm using. So let's do that again but using angle B. So if this is the angle I was using in my identities, my opposite line, the opposite side has to be opposite that angle and my adjacent is what is left which is always between my right angle and the angle I am using. So let's try and apply it. First you should label your triangle. The hypotenuse is always opposite my right angle so I'm going to label that first. There's only one angle so that's the only angle I can use. So opposite that, the side that's opposite is X so that's my O, my opposite. And the adjacent is what is left which you can see is between the right angle and the angle we're using as well if you like to think of it that way. So now that it's labelled, identify the two sides you can use. I can use this because it has a value and I can use this because this is my unknown, this is what I'm being asked to find. So I'm using O and A. Think of your Sokotoa or even write it down, especially if you're a visual learner. And identify the identity that has O and A in it and that is TAN or TOA in our Sokotoa. Then you just write the identity substituting your values. So I can write it in the generic form to start with if you want to, you don't have to. So we, our angle is 53, so tan 53 degrees equals my unknown which is x over 12 which is a. So if I want x by itself I need to get rid of the 12 by multiplying. So x is going to equal 12 times tan 53 and you go to your calculator to find out the value of tan 53, multiply by 12, and that gives you 15.9. Here is another example. This time I'm only going to label the sides I'm going to use, so you can choose which one you prefer. Here are my labelled sides, so they're what I'm going to use. I know this one is my hypotenuse because it's opposite the right angle, and this one is opposite the given interior angle, so that is my opposite. So I now need to find the identity that has O and H and that is SO or sine. Write down the equation sine of 64 degrees equals O over H as given by Sokotoa. So it's 11 over X and then solve for the unknown. So to get X by itself we have to multiply by X and then divide through by sine 64. Enter that into your calculator and you end up with 12.2. One last question. So I have my hypotenuse over here, 
My opposite is here and this is my adjacent. Now I'm not going to use my opposite because there's nothing there and I'm asked to find X, I'm given 17. So they're the two I'm going to use. So if I'm using A and H, I'm using cos or ka because that's the one with A and H in it. Write down the identity. So cos of 62 degrees is A over H as given in ka. So A is 17. H is our unknown. So we need to move our X over here by multiplying and divide by cos 62. So your answer is 36.2, which means the length of this line is 36.2 units. If they gave you units, you'd be able to put them in. They don't in this one. If you wanted to work out this line as well, so you asked for both lengths or you just wanted to, you know that this is your opposite because it's opposite the angle. So you'll do the same thing again, but because you're using O and A, you would use tan because it has the O and the A in it and you would substitute your values into that identity instead where O is the unknown. You can leave it as O because it's not labeled over 17. So that line, the opposite would be 17 times tan 62 degrees. So to determine unknown side lengths of a right angle triangle, when you've got angles involved, remember so ka toa.